In this video, we're going to learn how to add relativistic velocities. That is, how do you determine the velocity of things in different reference frames when you have relativistic speeds? Suppose we've got a bus moving forward at 5 meters per second. And then there's a person on the bus, and they're walking towards the front of the bus, and we'll say that their speed is 2 meters per second. Now, when we give these speeds of 5 and 2, we haven't mentioned with respect to what? This 5 meters per second, that's with respect to the ground. Whereas this 2 meters per second, that is with respect to the bus. So we might ask the question, well, how fast is the person moving relative to the ground? That is, let's say we could make the whole bus go invisible, and the person just saw a head moving across. How fast would that head be moving? And I think you know it would be 7 meters per second, 5 plus 2. So we could write 2 plus 5 equals 7 meters per second as the speed relative to the Earth. We can use this to define some frames of reference and some variables. So let's call the Earth frame, the ground frame here, S. We'll call the bus frame, we'll call that S prime. We'll call the speed of the S prime frame relative to the S frame. That's really the, the speed of the bus. We'll call that V. So this is V equals 5 meters per second. This speed relative to S prime, we're going to call that U prime. And then this speed here, 7 meters per second, we'll call that U because it's with respect to the frame S. So our basic relationship in this problem was that the speed of the person relative to the ground would be equal to the speed of one frame with respect to the other, plus the speed of the object, the speed of the person in this case, with respect to the bus, with respect to the S' prime frame. So here's our equation for non-relativistic velocity addition. Very simple, but we want to kind of define these frames of reference and these particular variables because we want to carry it forward into relativistic physics. So let's quickly reinforce these letters that we're going to use for the frames and the velocities. So we've got an S frame, we've got an S prime frame. The S prime frame is moving with a velocity V relative to the S frame. And then there's some other moving object, and it will have a velocity U primed in the S prime frame, and a velocity of U in the S frame. I'm going to show you kind of a quick and dirty trick right now, which will enable you to do a good many relativistic velocity addition problems, and to do it very, very quickly. So we've just been looking at, we'll call this scenario three here, scenario two, and scenario one. We've just been looking at scenario three. And we said in the non-relativistic treatment that the speed here of the ballistic relative to the Earth would be 1.7c. And I think you've probably done enough problems in earlier grades that would tell you that, for instance, in scenario two, the speed of B with respect to A will also be 1.7c. Or in this one where they're heading towards each other, the speed of B with respect to A would also be 1.7c. So all three of these situations give the same answer. They're equivalent in that sense. Now if we do the relativistic treatment, we should also get the same answer in each case. And our quick and dirty trick is just to sum the speeds and then divide by 1 plus the product of the speed fractions. So what I mean by that is that the speed of the ballistic with respect to the Earth will be equal to the sum, which in all cases is 0.9c plus 0.8c, divided by 1 plus the fractions multiplied together, the product of the fractions. So that would be the 0.9 and the 0.8. So what you get here is 
0.7C divided by 1.72, which gives 0.988 times the speed of light. So now we end up with a speed that is less than the speed of light. And this is the correct treatment. And all three would, of course, have the same answer. So what we're going to do now is test out our little quick and dirty trick, our little formula. And so the first thing we want to check out is, do all observers measure the same speed for light? So this is exactly the same problem that we've been doing. So the speed of, in this case, light from the Earth should be given by the sum of the speeds, which would be 0.9c plus the speed of light itself. That's the speed relative to the, to the ship. And then 1 plus 0.9 times 1. So this is going to give me 1.9c divided by 1.9 which just gives us C back again. So both observers record the speed of light as being the speed of light, despite their relative motion. So this equation here, this is really our quick and dirty trick equation. You can see it's the sum of the velocities divided by one plus the product of the fractions of the speed of light. However, the IB data booklet doesn't give the quick and dirty trick equation. They give this equation here. But I'll leave it to you as an exercise to show that you can rearrange this equation. That is, you can solve for u. And you will obtain this equation, the quick and dirty trick equation. So they're really the same equations, just rearranged versions and all the variables are the same. Keep in mind here that these are velocities, so they can be to the right or to the left, and when we see a velocity that's to the left, we have to make it a negative. The first thing I'd like you to notice about this question is that this is one of our common scenarios, right? We've got two speeds, and the two speeds are relative to the Earth. There's the 0.6c and the 0.7c measured relative to the Earth. So we're being asked, what is the speed of ship B relative to A? And that is one of our common dirty trick scenarios. So we can do it the quick way. We can say that the speed is going to have to be 0.6c plus 0.7c all over 1 plus 0.6 times 0.7. And that comes out to be 1.3 divided by 1.42. And our answer has to be 0.915c. Now let's see if we get the same answer if we use the equation from the data booklet and we don't realize we can use the quick and dirty trick. So let's call the Earth the S reference frame. And it doesn't really matter which frame you call the S reference frame. It, it will work out as long as you're consistent if you choose something else as your S frame. And then for our S prime frame, we need to choose one of the ships. So let's choose this ship as our S prime frame. So that means our V would be this 0.6C. And this 0.7C, that would be the speed of the other object in the S frame. So that's going to be our U. And we have to be careful there because that's going to be a negative 0.7. See, because it's heading to the left. So don't forget about that negative sign. And the speed that we're looking for is the U prime. So let's put all this information into our data booklet equation. The U prime, that's what we're looking for. The U is negative 0.7c, and we have to subtract off v, v is 0.6c, and then we'll have a 1 minus u, which is negative 0.7 times v, which is the 0.6. So we get negative 1.3 
divided by, this is going to end up being a plus, so it's going to be 1.42. And so we're going to get an answer there that's equal to negative 0.915C. And so we're getting the extra information here. That negative sign is telling us that the, the way we've drawn the problem, and this is irrelevant in a, in a sense, because it's just telling us that the way we've drawn the problem, that B is moving to the left relative to A. So our quick and dirty trick just gave us the speed, whereas here we got the velocity. With a quick and dirty trick, we knew the velocity was to the left because the two ships were approaching each other. So that wasn't, uh, wasn't particularly valuable information. Here's another question. Pause the video, read the question over carefully, and see how far you can make out with it. So let me point out a few things here. One, it's not one of the common scenarios. So you can't use our quick and dirty trick. Number two, there are two speeds given for the missile. And what that means is that the missile is not going to be one of our reference frames. It's going to be the U values. So we know the two ships are going to be the two reference frames, S and S prime. So let's draw this. Here's ship one. The missile is traveling at 0.75 C relative to that ship. So if we call this frame S, then this would be U. And the other ship, it has to be traveling the other way because we notice that the speed of the missile is higher. So this would be U prime equals 0.95 C, and this would be our S prime frame. And what we're being asked for is V the speed of S prime is the S, and we're expecting it to come out to be negative because we know the two ships are approaching each other. So let's plug into our equation from the IB data booklet. U primed, 0.95C, must be equal to U, 0.75C, minus V, and then we'll have a one minus u over c, really, which is 0 0.75, times v over c, meaning v over one of these c's here. So we can cross multiply now. We get 0 0.95c minus 0 0.7125, c's will cancel out, times v. And then on the other side of the equation, you're at 0.75c minus v. So we can subtract off this term, 0.75 from both sides, and that will go 0.20c. And we can add 0.7125v to both sides, and you'll find that that comes out to be negative 0.2875v. So that V must be equal to negative 0.2 all over 0.2875 times C. And if you work that out, you should get 0.696C. And that will be negative. So we do get the result that the S prime frame, the other ship, is moving towards the first ship. Let's summarize the big ideas from the video. We first recognized that if we had, say, two objects moving away from each other with speeds relative to the Earth, let's give them speeds of 0.7 and 0.8 c. Or if we had the two objects moving towards each other with the same speeds. Or in the situation where we had say, a ship moving relative to the Earth at 0.7c, and it fires a missile at 0.8c, that's relative to the ship, then the speed of that missile relative to the Earth would be exactly the same as in the other two situations.
And we said that, that that relativistic speed would be given by the sum of the speeds divided by 1 plus the product the fraction, meaning the fractions of the speed of light. So in this case here, we'd have 0.7 plus 0.8 is 1.5c, and then we divide by 1 plus the product, 0.7 times 0.8 is 0.56. And that would give us our answer. Now, if we look in the IB data booklet, we see this equation. U primed equals U minus V all over top of 1 minus UV all over C squared. Now, if you rearrange that equation, then you get this expression which is really our sum over 1 plus the product of the fractions equation. So when we do our problem solving, we need to define two reference frames, which we call S and S prime. You'd have a velocity between the reference frames, which would be given by V, and then you'd have speeds of something in both frames. So that would be the u and the u prime. And of course, keep in mind that, that the u's and v's are velocities, so a negative velocity would mean to the left, or at least opposite to the direction that we're calling the positive direction. So please take the time to become a subscriber, or sign up for notifications, become a member, become a Patreon, make some comments, ask some questions. Any of your participation is greatly appreciated. Thank you. And that's all for today, folks. Thank you very much.